stuck in your head now? Yes, it is. <laughs> hey, how goes it? Please. I'm oh. Andrew. Your DM for the day. Along with this band of miscreants and singing murder hobos, we're the Dirty Rollers, and this is our Mudbutts Goblin campaign. Yeah! yeah. Oh gosh, you guys were all together there. I like that. All right. <laughs> Uh, another quick disclaimer, as this is only our second session in Foundry, so we feel the need to warn everybody that things may be a little slower than normal, which, you know, is we're always kind of slow anyway. But uh, yeah, might be going a tad bit slower as we all learn Foundry together. Um, I like it. It's working really dang good. I really like all the uh, the sound effects and stuff and how easy it's been to use so far. So we're going to stick with it. But we may be slow. We may be bumbling around or I may be bumbling around as you guys will see in the uh, in the video when I try to figure out where everything's at. But um, yeah, just uh, bear with us while we all learn and, and get used to it. Um, the first session went not so bad. I don't think there was a, a couple little things, but overall, I think it went pretty good. So um, yeah, that's just a little warning. Pretty. Yeah. Uh, the sound effects are all nice and the the like proximity sounds are super cool. Um, and like all the automated stuff, super neat. Uh, yeah. So yeah, uh, that was the little, little disclaimer warning for us bumbling around in here. Uh, outside of that, be sure you check the description down below for a link to our shop on society six, where you can find, uh, uh, bunch of different uh yeah everything a, a bunch of different <laughs> merch with the dirty rollers and mud butts art on it um go get yourself a nice t-shirt or a hoodie or uh, some stickers that you can oh my god <laughs> she, oh, melissa really likes hoodies apparently i'm obsessed with that so oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's not like the cookie monster <laughs> 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 exactly uh but yeah uh, make sure you check out that link in the shop there um for new viewers you're gonna want to check the link for or the description for a link to our uh, long form uh player and uh character intros where you can get a lot more of the background and everything uh go a little more in depth for all the characters uh we'll do a short little one here but if you really want to get to know the characters you're going to want to check that link out instead um also, I had something. I had something that's gone. It's gone now. What was I going to say? Oh, the Twitch stuff. The Twitch. Uh, I'll also be dropping a link down here in um, in this video for uh, our Twitch channel link. And if well, there won't be a separate link if we're streaming on YouTube. Right? Should just still be coming to our channel and watch the live one. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. So we are going to try to get into streaming. Um, uh, Mr. Jacob and I have started a stream for Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. We'll be doing some of that. Then I'll be doing some map making and behind the scenes like D&D &D, uh, prep work in between probably Dungeon Alchemist and Dungeon Draft for making maps. And then um, I might stream some of me tinkering around in Foundry, setting up stuff for next sessions and all that. So if you want to come and hang out with me while I do that, you're more than welcome to. Uh, you can feel free to ask questions or just kind of shoot the shit around in there. Um, but yeah, uh, make sure you check out the, the links for those. And I think that's it. I think we can go ahead and get started. Um, this nasty battle where you guys left off at last time. And the only other thing I'll say is, uh, sorry for a little lower energy today. I have a massive headache today. I'm trying to get through this. Um, we'll see how nuts everyone drives me and who I want to smash their characters into the ground. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so first we'll do, uh, the player and character intros. And, uh, I think, I think Mr. James, um, Mr. Dr. Buckletick Esquire has a uh, recap <laughs> of last session for us. But first we'll do the the uh, the players and the characters. So James, you get to start with that. Who are you playing? I'm James and I play Buckletick. I am a warlock whose patron is a great old one. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And next up we got Chrissy. Who are you playing? I play Mustella Stink Death, the Badger Druid, the oh, Circle of the Moon. Art. 
Yep, yep, so. Oh, sorry. I'll beat you to it this time. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, and her Bowser brother named Chris. There he is. Uh, who's that? It's Melissa. Who are you playing? Hi. Oh. I'm Melissa. <laughs> and I play Iris Fart Gargle. And she's a monk way of the astral self. Okay. And next we got Jacob. Who are you playing? I'm playing Sharpo, the Gloomstalker Ranger. What'd you say? Sharpo? Sharto? Hmm. <laughs> you sound, like you said, sound like you said Sharpo. Sharpo, the Gloomstalker. <laughs> the master of markers. Oh, I can feel it now. Uh, Matthew, who are you playing? I play Nick Nick, the rogue. Uh, I'm the thief. Man, his or her her art is still fuzzy, and I'm not sure why. It only is Fancy! doing that to hers. Fancy! <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, it. yeah, Aww. I'll try to re-upload it. It's still fuzzy. Yeah. And last but not least, Garen, what is a squeeb? Uh, a squeeb is an unusually small goblin. It rides on a clockwork rooster named Baktak, and I'm a battlesmith artificer. Awesome. All right, James, what happened last time on Dirty Rollers? All righty, so the last episode, we started with a troll fight. Though this didn't seem to look like any normal troll. No, this one had multiple heads and faces all over its body. And uh, throughout, we, we noticed... That, uh, well, we didn't notice in the middle, but uh, when uh, it seemed like the troll was killed, uh, Mustel was a giant snake. Um, one second, sorry. Iris almost died because of one of the troll's crazy friggin' attacks. Mm -hmm. Uh, And as soon as knocked out, uh, shortly after, it started coming back to life, and uh, after another round or two of uh, pelting it with magic and then uh, squeeb stabbing into multiples of its head with a fire spear, it had seemingly finally died. Yeah. And uh, after that had happened, uh, Buckle Tick was checking underneath the bridge it was patrolling because of his vision right before that fight broke up. Then he figured, you know what, the answer might lie within it. So he decided to uh, dissect it, and it, that led to nothing. While uh, that happened, I believe a short rest began to happen for uh, some of those that were really hurt by the troll. Uh, Shardo was doing his thing, investigating the uh, forest surrounding us. Wandering off on his own. <laughs> uh <laughs> <laughs> Uh, then Buckle Tick uh, kind of revealed that uh, uh, some more stuff about his patron uh, with his vision that he saw right before the troll fight. And uh, yeah, some of the group kind of uh, wandered off in different directions. Uh, Shardo, uh, going way out by himself, uh, seemed to have run into trouble. And uh, uh, sometime later, the group heard some uh, uh, chaotic shuffling and uh, some little uh, violent uh, thrashes. So the group is heading uh, around to help them, and uh, they see that there are uh, what were the creatures called again? The swarm, not swarmers, but uh, correspond the crawlers, correspond crawlers. Yep, that's yep. the one. And uh, yeah, they were about to. Be ready to join the fray to help Shadow out. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, they came around the edge of the trees there and saw this nasty business here. And uh, looks like Char- Shardo uh, wandered into a, a, some bad business here. So uh, I think we are going to go ahead and cue some battle fight music. Yeah, battle fight. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a battle fight. <laughs> there was a battle fight. All right. Uh, I need everybody to roll an issue for me. Oh, 
River View! <laughs> My goodness. Oh. Do I need to roll again? Nope, I got you in here, I think. Uh, yeah. Buckle takes, we must have... Uh, Look at them dice rolling mm. around. <laughs> yes, Shardo, I think you need to roll. I don't see you in here. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I'm so sorry. There's like straining sounds coming from Seaster. <laughs> There we go. I get too excited. I can't help it. <laughs> okay, these things are all going to share. Uh, all the crawlers will share one initiative, and the flyers will share the other initiative. I'm not going to roll separately for all of them. That would just be a nightmare to, uh, to track and take care of. Uh, let's see. I'll pop this out over here. That seems louder than it was before. There we go. Okay. Uh, who's up first? Uh, Senior Buckle Tick or Squeeb? Who's got the higher decks there? I got a plus three decks. Uh, dex, dex, dex. Mm -hmm. I got a plus two. It's you, Buckle Tick. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm going to step out. 15, 20, 25. And uh, seeing that we're dealing with uh, very familiar enemies, I'm going to uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to hit this guy over here, where that little blue notch is. Okay. And uh, I'm going uh, as I do this, I am going to uh, mentally uh, shout in his head, "Where's the big one?" And I'm going to hit him with some eldritch blasts. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Where's the big one? Where is he? Where's the big one? Uh, James. Yes. Or uh, Buckle Tick, rather. Yes. You, you did that uh, through uh, telepathy? Yes, I did. All right. Uh, it flashes back something at you. The image of a cave. Oh, yeah, uh, specifically a a cave, like uh, a room in a cave, sort of like a, a, a table in a cage. A table in a cage. Yep. Hmm. Uh, 14 misses it. It while well, it's flying there, it just zips over to the side real quick and avoids the first Eldritch Blast. All right, the second one to hit. Natural 24, 27. Yeah, you catch it as it's coming back out of its dodge. So 19, and I'm going to give it a, a point, extra three points for a Fury the Small on that guy. Sure. Wait, hold on. Wait, we're medium. We're medium creatures, aren't we? Or are we small? Oh, right. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, and that's medium. All right, cool. Never mind. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, uh, nineteen force on that guy. But you said that it sent me a mental picture. Yep. Okay. Alrighty, and uh, hold on a second. And I'm going to take uh, one step that way, uh, my final step, and I'm done. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Uh, squeeb, then. Um, I'm going to be fumbling around in my uh, ball sack saddlebags. As one does. And yeah, as one does. Right, where's where's that? I've been working on that thing for a while. It's, oh, there it is. And I pull out what looks like a kind of like a syringe with like green fluid in it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to run up to Iris. I'm like, hold on, hold still. This will only, this will only hurt for a second. And I'm going <gasps> to 
stab her in the butt <laughs> and inject her with some green fluid. Seems strange, but okay. <laughs> and uh, this is a uh, heroism. It will give her uh, four temporary hit points um, at the start of each of her turns. Okay. So basically, I think that you get just get four hit points, and then at the end of your turn, it disappears, and then you get four more at the beginning of your turn, sort of thing. Okay. If that makes sense. Here, let me uh, put it up there. I oh. thought these guys had rolled, but they didn't. So they're going to go directly after you this time, Squeeb, and then at the next turn, they're all going to go at the top of the round. Oh, it says I don't have any spell slots. I got to change that. But that'll be the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, my ass hurts. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Okay, uh, so that was Squeeb's turn. Uh, all right, the crawlers are going to go. What? No. Yep. Because they had a, a 20, but I didn't have everything up to date yet. Mm. Nick, Nick, is your health and beyond really 26? You didn't take any damage in that last fight, did you? He was... He, he I... Healed. Or no, he I did healed, take damage. But healed. I guess it didn't update across platforms. Let me change okay. that. Because I'm up to... You don't have to change it and be on if you don't want to. I was just making sure that uh, your health was right in Foundry. Yeah. That's the big part. Okay. Uh, sorry. So this crawler is going to move up uh, and attack Shardo. Um, that's all of its ridiculous amounts of attacks. All right. Bite. Uh, 17 to hit you, Shardo. Yeah. Okay. Bite hits for five, and I need you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Uh, okay. You, you pass that. Um, yeah, you feel some, a slight little twinge of terror when it bites you and, uh, you, you're able to shrug it off there. Um, the first claw makes an attack at you. 22 to hit. Whoops. Uh, second claw. This is going to say bite, but this is a claw. It's another 22. All right. So claw damage will be. Uh, five for the first one. Three for the second one. And then that, that nasty little tail swings underneath this time and tries to jab at one of your legs and misses. Um, this one down here. It's going to try to bite you as well, Shardo. Uh, 19 total. Yeah. Four damage. And you have to make that wisdom save again. Uh, 13. Yep, that succeeds. All right. Uh, the right claw comes in and scores a crit on you. The, you know, can't, uh, I'll roll damage on that. That is six damage from the crit. And then it takes its left claw and swings it over at Iris, hoping to catch her by surprise. Uh, 19 to hit you, Iris. 
Hits. Okay. Uh, that's five slashing from the claw. And then the, it swings its tail around and tries to take you out. Uh, 17 to hit? Just hits. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's say you actually only took one slashing from that since you had the four temporary hit points. But d- isn't that the start of my turn? That I get that? Or no? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, at the start of each of your turns, yeah. Okay, never mind. Uh, and then you. you take another three piercing damage from the tail. Oh, piercing my bullet cheek. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, it swings around behind you and jabs you in the butt cheek. Your other butt cheek, the other one that didn't get stabbed. The butt cheek. All right, that's those ones. This one's dead. This one's dead. Oh, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30. This one's going to run down the hill. 10. Oh. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh my God. All right. And you know what? We'll start here. We'll start on uh, Mr. Dr. Buckletick. Mr. Dr. Buckletick. Yeah. Uh, let's see, let's I cut. skipped again. <laughs> no, the, all of the crawlers go all in one. Right. Okay. They were supposed to go at twenty, but I I missed them at the start of oh. it. So it went buckle tick squeeb, then the crawlers because I skipped them at twenty. Gotcha. Yep. Yep. Uh, all right. So the bite on Mister Doctor Buckle Tick. Uh, 19 to hit you. That'll hit. All right. For five, uh, five piercing damage. And then you need to make a wisdom save, DC 11. Wisdom save, you said? Yep. Okay. Normal. Uh, You are frightened, sir. Until the start yeah. of this crawler's yeah. next turn. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Uh, and then it takes two claw attacks at you. Mm-hmm. 18 to hit. That'll hit. And six to hit. That'll miss. So you take, as it snaps the claws around, one hits, you dodge out of the other one. You take three damage from one claw. And the tail aims for your chest. Whoops, I did the damage before the attack. My bad. <laughs> tail aims for your chest and whiffs with a natural one. Mm. All right. So you, sir, are befrightened. Mm-hmm. Befrightened? <sighs> All right. Oh. Uh, the one on Squeeb over here. And Squeeze got some crazy high AC. But uh, 16 to hit you. Yeah. And the claw. 16 is going to miss again. The second claw. Uh, 13 is going to miss. Oh my. And then the, the tail trying to swing up to hit you. Uh, 18 to hit? Nope. Okay. Got 19 AC. Yeah. This one here uh, sees. Oh, well, let's see what? Is there intelligence? Uh, if you beat the 10. No. Okay. He does not beat a 10. So he. this one's going to take uh, a tail attack up at you as well. It's going to try to reach up and knock you off. Bring it, buddy. <laughs> Hold uh, up my toenail shield. 18. Nope. All right. So that one just bounces off your toenail shield. Yeah. This next attack's aimed at uh, Boktok's legs. No. The claw. Uh, it's only a nine to hit Boktok, so it's probably not going to work. Uh, I mean, like it is stuff. I mean, it's, it's stuff is, you don't attack him very often, so that's good. No. That needs to change. Oh, yeah. His uh, armor class is 15. Mm hmm. 
All right. And then the right claw juts forward towards Iris. Uh, 17 to hit Iris. Uh, oh, wait. I can use a Bok Talk's reaction. For too. disadvantage? Yeah. Did, yep. All right. So the first one was a 17. Second one was 23. So 17 hit Iris? Yes. All right. Claw reaches in and pinches your fingies for six damage. <laughs> <laughs> and as it's <laughs> as it's got you in a pincher, it lunges forward and tries to bite you, Iris. And it's gonna miss. Okay. So you slap its its little mandibles away. Yeah. Alright. Then this one that was splitting attacks between Iris and Shardo's going, so. Uh, tail and left claw at Iris. Uh, tail's gonna miss. Left claw. Ooh, that dice is really spinning. That's gonna miss as well. Claw over to Shardo. Uh, no, 11 will miss. And then the bite at Shardo. Shardo, you're able to dodge out of the way of the bite there. All right. That's a shit ton of attacks. Uh, Mastella, you can go. Um, I kind of want to see the spell template for this. I didn't want to interrupt what everybody was doing. Okay. I think to do this. Let's see what it. No. My template disappeared somewhere. Uh. Why is it? It's over to the left. Can you rotate the template? I don't know. I don't know that I've ever tried. No. Well, that's dumb. You can't Uh, sum. I I can kind of just rotate the numbers around with that. That's about it. What do you mean, rotate the numbers? You see the 11 foot? I can spin that around there, but... This does not look right. Hmm. What are you trying to do? The tidal wave spell. But it says 10 by 30. Um, in D&D Beyond. Tidal wave, it says this area can be up to 30 feet long, up to 10 feet wide. And up to 10 feet tall. I guess I'm doing two complicated things today. <laughs> 10, 10 feet long by 30 feet wide. It's a handle boundary. <clears throat> what would it put that template in when you cast the spell? You just click the, the tidal wave spell. And, uh, it'll. That's what I was doing. Uh, I didn't see it pop up in here. I know. That's because I didn't actually place it down yet, I think. Oh, I got you. It, like, <clears throat> when you first get cast for your spell and you go to cast the spell, it shows a template before you actually click cast spell. I'm assuming so you can see what it's going to do. Gotcha. Here, let me put the spell down. Maybe it will help if I set it down first. Uh, Actually, it doesn't even give me the template at all when I click it. Hmm. You know how it usually pops it up over there in the chat thing? Yeah. Yeah, it's not doing that, so. Hmm. Um, 30 feet long, 10 feet wide. So 10 feet, you know, like, 10 feet will be two squares. Then, you know, like the 30 10, will be six. 10 feet would be two. The ruler isn't. Looks like you can cast it, it right. anywhere within 120 feet. Can you see my ruler? Yeah. So this says it's five feet. But that I don't understand. Yeah. What that? But five that's not. Feet? It's so saying from this square to this square is five feet. Uh, it's ta- it's using that that's like a movement. The, I see what the ruler is doing. Okay, so. How do I, um, so if I do like from here, you know, at the start for mm-hmm. 10 feet and shove it this way for like 30 feet or whatever. Yeah. 
Yeah. I can do that, I guess. I don't know how to do that uh, without the template thing. Boom. There you go. So it hits, it'll hit the... Uh, it'll... Three of them. It'll hit the two crawlers and the flying guy. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> Is that what you're doing? Um... Yeah, I guess. Is the flying guy, is he flying like more than 10 feet off the ground? No, he's only a few feet up. <laughs> okay, then yes, yeah, so I suppose I will do such a thing. Okay. All right, so Mustella. You haven't cast this before, have you? No, I was going to, I just decided to do it because I haven't done it yet. All right, Ooh, no, so describe this. what this looks like then. Um... Let's see. Mustella remembers a time when her and Precious were at the ocean and she saw octopi, but she also saw massive tidal waves. And so she swishes her hands backwards and throws them forwards and remembers the wave. And she's like, whoosh. And this big wave appears yeah. when she says whoosh and rushes over the little buggy beholes. All right. That one fails. That one succeeds. Ooh. And yeah. this, this one succeeds. All right. So the first one is knocked prone. Oh. And the other two are not knocked prone and they will take half damage, but they still do take damage. So roll your damage. Seventeen. All right. So this one eats all of seventeen as he's the the focal point of your onrushing wave. There. Oops. Minus seventeen. There we go. Uh, this one takes uh, eight damage. That's halved. And this guy takes eight damage. Mustella! <laughs> Watching damage knock prone, half as much, and isn't knock prone, water then spreads out. Okay. I saw the rolls backwards for a moment, Sea Star. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? I, I was looking at Andy's rolls and I thought they were yours. And I was like, yeah. And then I was like, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why you were saying yeah, yeah for those. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the high rolls. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I'm dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to bonus action protect and the shield pops out in front of her. Ooh. All right. So you got your animated shield going again? Protect. Yeah. I'm trying to click on myself, but it's being a real penis again. Let me refresh the browser and I'll put the shield icon on there. I'll get you. It's uh, right click and then the shield icon. Yeah. It's just not letting me right click sometimes. Until I refresh it. Okay. Uh, that's it for you then. Uh, um, yeah. Did I move? Sorry, you went. Yet? I don't think so. Do I want to move? I'm going to move up here. You'll see the, the core spawn crawlers in there twice. We're, we're not doing the 17, we're going with the, the 20. All right, so Nick, Nick, it's your turn. <laughs> Yay! This guy is prone. Yep. Can I see the one in front of Buckle Tick easily? Yeah. Okay. Buckle Tick small. I <laughs> he's small. I will take a. Let me get my ruler out. How far away is this guy? What was... What? Jesus! There you go. Okay. 30 feet. 30 feet. I will take aim at him. A steady aim this time. Alright. Short bow. He take... Pew! Natural 19. Alright. 
26 seven I'll hit it. Okay. For it's five not. damage. And the sneak attack is thirteen. So eighteen total? Yes. Nice shot. Sneak attack Thank is three d six. Believe so. It's good shit. All right. Uh, anything else for you? Uh, I can no longer move, and that was my one shot this round. Okay, that's it. Um. Next is Shardo. How many things will die when Shardo's around? Shardo! <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine the 80s synth guitar playing in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Shardo's Murder Emporium. Take a potion. Is that a bonus action? Yeah. Take a potion yourself. Bonus action. Give it to another full action. Can I go ahead and try and Speed. Sure. Oh, I don't know why dip. I ever decided to give you one of those, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dip. Is it a potion or is it like snorty the line? <laughs> Shadows <laughs> under dark connections. <laughs> Wait, plus two to AC, speed double. Until the spell ends, target speed is doubled. Yep, plus two to AC has advantage on dexterity saving throws and gains an additional action on each of its turns. Oh my god! Nice. <laughs> when the spell ends, the target can't move or take actions until after its next turn. Uh, the action can only be used to take the attack. Which duh, that's what Shardo is going to do: dash, disengage, hide, or use an object. Okay. Go <laughs> um, Pew! going to get an attack of opportunity on you. Two of them are. Yep. All right. Um. So the one, this one here, will use a bite on you. Uh, bite will miss. The other one is going to try to lash out at you with its tail. Uh, for 16, that's going to miss you, right? 16 just hits. Oh. Your AC is normally only 14? I don't know. I got the plus 2. No, my AC is 16. Sorry. Okay. Plus yeah. Two. You just, you feel like the a whoosh of air going above your ankles behind you. Or I guess below your ankles, technically. There you go. Is the one I hit for 17 out there where I can see? Uh, I don't remember which one. The one you hit for 17? I think you killed that one, didn't you? No, I hit one down here. Oh, no, oh, it's this one. All right, I'm going to take a shot at it. <laughs> Sorry, Mustella. I will normal shot it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well. Uh, so, Mustella, you feel this arrow go whizzing by your head. And you hear a screech uh, in front of you um, <laughs> as he actually manages to hit it. He, oh. he parts your skunk stripe. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it dies. I like how dead is a condition. Yeah. yeah. All right. 
That one's dead. This guy. One right. Iris. This one? Yeah. Okay. Sure, sure. <laughs> this one, you're shooting through Bok Tok, <laughs> Squeeb, and Iris. Uh, it's going to have a plus two to its AC for uh, partial cover here. Do it. <laughs> Get him, Shardo. Oh. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. He's curving bullets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hits for eight. I think we all just got low. We knew he was shooting, right? Yeah. Now. Everybody hits the dirt. <laughs> Here comes a rain of arrows. Iris is too dumb. It just went like in her armpit. <laughs> to 19 total? Yep. I already did the eight. Right. So there's sharpshooter. Okay. It's still alive. It's still alive. It's still alive. It's, it's not doing too great, but it's still alive. Actually, is it. Yeah, it's got purple blood. Neat. Cool. I'll shift down this one below. This one. Okay. Oh, <laughs> the twenty and the two. Uh, nope, that one misses. All right. All right. Uh, wait, I'm move back. First step. All right. Uh, Iris. <gasps> Iris is going to pull out her little goblin carving that must tell a gamer. Barface, did you see that? Sharto is trying to save me. He's my <laughs> best friend. <laughs> and going to punch the purple bloodied guy next to her. Who's that right? Okay. <laughs> Hold on, I got to I gotta. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't turn off the the. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> what was that? I was, <laughs> I was trying to do stuff, and then when when they were like typing things, it was going over to what they were saying. Oh, oh. the chat and bubble <laughs> thing. Yeah, you got to turn that oh, option off. Oh, 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 oh. Um, I've got heroism, so I get to heal four points. Is it heal four points or you get four temporary HP? Four temporary hit points. Yeah, the di completely different thing. How do I... Did you know, Adam? something on your character sheet for temporary hit points. Oops. I'll keep. I'll look at that in a minute. Um, I'll go ahead and... Fart! Okay. <laughs> Purple bloody guy next to me. I'm gonna punch him. Okay. Should go. So yeah, you see the little tiny blue bar on your health bar? That's the temporary HP. Oh, oh. It's, so small. <gasps> it's all right here. That's so cool. No, I I just did that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you you select Andy. You select your token. You hit C, and right underneath the. Uh, uh, your your big numbers for hit points there. You see where it says plus temp. Oh. You just type in whichever number and then hit enter and close your character sheet out. That's awesome. Cool. Okay, okay. Punch. Uh. Punch. Punch. Um, Punch. <laughs> it's not working. Snake. Oh, there we go. Snake. Okay. Yeah. Oh no. 16. Uh, 16 hits. <laughs> oh no. And still pummels it. Damage. <laughs> Eggs. All right. All right. You punch this one away. <laughs> you punch him away. Is it dead? It's dead. Oh, oh it died. <laughs> okay. Punch John. Him away to heaven. Now, I'll look to the one below me. <laughs> Oh, where's my target? Baloney? 
Baloney. <laughs> no one and baloney. <laughs> baloney, man. Oh, sorry if you heard Piper. I'm sorry. I'm going to this one. <laughs> a punch. A dick. There we go. Punch? I'm trying. It's like, <laughs> for some reason, it's going really slow. I don't right. know why. Uh, 26, that's it. What is that? Damage. Punch. A little fucking gremlin. <laughs> He's a goblin. <laughs> Eight damage. Don't beat her after midnight. No. Okay. Um, come on. Sorry, my computer's being stupid. Okay. <laughs> it's like a little murder toddler. Murder toddler. <laughs> yeah. I think we're all a little bit murder toddlers. No, Iris, Iris more so. I'm gonna use a key uh, point. See. Oh my god. See. And uh generally her chi. She literally pulled out a blows. doll before this and was talking to it before she commenced the punching. Come on, fart face. We're going to flurry and blows this shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's some Mad Max stuff right there. <laughs> I'm here for it. <laughs> okay. Punch. Attack. Roll. Oh, no. Eleven. Uh, nope. It, it, it ducks out of the way. Hisses at you. Yeah. And I got one more head. That'll hit. Nineteen. <clears throat> Dumbers. Damn. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Uh, you. Pummel the shit out of this one and blast this one to death, too. <clears throat> Excuse me. You guys are awesome. <laughs> okay, Iris and Shardo are like, oh, yeah, I see your four attacks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The fly boys turns. <laughs> This one gets within range. And let's see, I gotta move this over here. <laughs> it's going to use uh oh it comes up to you. And let's see, it's gonna give me a radius. Oh, Iris, you're immune to being see. scared with that uh, potion I gave you. Ten, ten. These are all dead. Don't worry, our this face, one. I'm not afraid. <laughs> okay. I need, uh, actually, let's see. 15 foot radius cloud of tops. All right. So I need a radius. That's what I need. All right. I think I did that right. I uh, hope so. It didn't give me the option to plop down a template. <clears throat> That's radius, right? Mm. 15 foot radius. Or should I go out one more square? Well, if it's for, for a circle, radius it diameter, should the, it should be the radius. What is this shit? What do you say? That's 15 foot radius. Okay. Um, so buckle tick, the way the things work, I think you're actually safe there. Or is it just the corners? Mm. If you count the squares, yeah, then he would be safe. Yeah, I think you're safe. So everybody in that needs to make a saving throw, uh, DC 14 constitution. You can just click the button over there. The squares aren't 15 foot radius. The circle is. Yeah, because it's giving you both measurements. 
Uh, so... It's giving you a 15-foot square and a 15-foot radius circle. So it should be one more square? I don't know, the, uh, the squares always work weird. Oh, it just shows the circle, if you're going off the circle. Yeah. Or square. No, buckle tick, you're safe. You're safe cool. still. So yeah, I need all you guys in the red squares. That's a fail, that's a fail. Except for me, because I... Wait, this is for Frightened? No, no, no. Oh, it's a, it's a constitution save. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I got confused. Okay. I think that was Garen talk, talking to you about the uh, Frightened thing. Yeah, this, but you. this isn't Frightened. Alright, so you're safe. Um, <laughs> you have to succeed on DC 14 con save or become poisoned. Well, poisoned in this way, a creature takes... Uh, 2d10 poison damage at the start of each of its turns. You can repeat the saving yeah. throw at the end of each turn, ending the effect on itself on a save. 2d10? 2d10. Yeah. Oh, Damn. no. It's... So this is Squeeb. Oh, no. Squeeb, you are poisoned. Where's poison? Disease. That works. Uh... <laughs> Herpes. <laughs> Mustella poison. Oh, wait, there's poisoned. Syphilis. <laughs> it shot you with gonorrhea syphilitis. Um, syphilis. And then this one is going to make it. <laughs> Lord. This one saves. Okay. Lord, law. Hmm. Uh, that's his turn, and I think it has to see if the thrum recharges. Let's look all that. Recharge? No. All right, whatever. Just roll d20 in here. Or d6, whoops. <laughs> uh, it does not recharge. Okay. Uh, that's that one's turn. The second one. Uh, let's go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Are they still 30. coming out of that cave? Yeah, that's where this one came out of. Let's see. Sure. Does not have any. Maybe he's just going to go over here instead. Okay. Did they spew poison on us, or what was that? Yeah, uh, yeah, sorry. I was too busy reading and didn't uh, say exactly what it was. But it, it flew up there, and you see, like, the the whole thing's coming out of its head. Let me see, actually, if I can show you what they look like. Because you haven't seen them in a little bit, have you? No. In a hot minute. They're All gross. Right. You think they're cute? They're gross. I like their weird faces. Oh. Ew. Ew. Oh, <laughs> Don't like it. That'll do it. No, no, no. Oh. No, no, no. So, when it comes flying up to you guys, it... Uh, out of all those tubes on its head, you see a bunch of uh, crystalline spores come pouring out of it, and it just floods the area with them. And that's what causes all the poison. And then all the crawlers that you've been fighting. Oh, these guys are super cool and disgusting. I like them. Oh, Aww. yeah. Gross. The other ones are grosser, though, with the holes in their head. <laughs> yeah, what's, that, the what's that phobia called where you see the holes and it that phobia. Yeah. Ugh. Google, Google cryptophobia Ooh. images. Oh, They're awful. Uh, so uh, when, when this one, this one over here flies out, um, you can all hear uh, a, a thought in your head. Uh, does anyone speak? No, it doesn't speak. Never mind. What? Does it do it telepathically? Yeah, it's a telepathic. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't speak it sends an image to everyone within 60 feet here so I think it would be pretty much everybody except Shardo right? Shardo yeah Shardo's just out of the range um, so you guys all get blasted everyone except Shardo with an image of uh <laughs> What are we doing? <laughs> what is it? No. 
What? It sends us nudes. <laughs> God damn it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch you all. Uh, the gift is probably what it looks like. <laughs> you guys get an image of uh, I don't know what you want to say. Like a some kind of it, it, in your mind's eye, it, it's a very large uh, like. Ovis it. What? Positor? An ovipositor? No. God damn it. I'm gonna punch all of you. I'm gonna throw you all in a wood chipper. I'm gonna throw you all in a wood chipper. I'm going to collect everything that comes out the other end and throw it in the shit grinder outside. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh my god. <laughs> that is very specific. Yes. <laughs> so it was a summer's or a, a, an early spring's worth of dealing with that stupid thing out there. Anyways. Uh it, it sends an image of a large um, figure crawling out of the water, uh, black corded muscle, <gasps> and uh, you, you can see the arms and shoulders and the head crawling out from the water, and that's all you see. And it, it, you, you get a sense of superiority from the thing coming from the water. Mm. And I then recognize this. you do not. Uh, yeah. And then it's uh, nice. it's the crawler's turn, of which there's only two left. Uh, this one spends half its turn or half its movement to right itself, and then begins an assault on Boktok. Boktok, no. Uh, Jump. Jump in the air! Get away from that thing! Oh, man, I miss so much stuff. Uh, they have pack tactics, and that would have been super helpful before, but now they're all dead, so pack tactics doesn't really matter. <laughs> Whoops! Well, shit. <laughs> well, shit. All right. Uh, bite attack against Boktok. 22 to hit. Yeah, that hits. That is... 5 damage piercing... Not my back claw. Two claws. The first one is dirty 20. The second one reaches forward and tries to nip the other leg for a 15. Uh, is that one hit? 15 just hit. Uh, can you use this? Oh, no, I can't do that against it for himself. So, yep, that hits. All right. So then let's two, two claw hits. We'll roll damage for the first one is four. Slashing, and the second one is five slashing. All right. And then the tail whips around and tries to stab him in the barrel. Oh, not in the barrel. Oh, no. <laughs> that is a crit. Uh, this damage is 11 piercing. He's still up. Okay. Uh, down here, this one on Buckle Tick, who is still frightened of it. Um, it. He tries to bite at you. Wait, you're not. You're technically not frightened of it now because it's its next turn. But you do need to make the save again, as it just landed a successful bite on you. Okay. Uh, do you want to watch the damage from the bite first, so I can uh, knock off the health? Yeah. Uh, three damage from the bite. Lunges forward and bites you on your hip. All right, what was the save again? Or wisdom? Wisdom DC eleven. DC eleven. Oh, his no. hip. Oh, his little hip. Don't 13. do that. Okay, you're no longer frightened. You can take the frightened condition off there. Uh, first of the claws comes in and pinches at you. Thirteen to hit. That one misses. All right, second claw. Tries to grab an arm and misses, and then the t oh, How do you turn off the condition. Right click, right click your token. Yeah, hit the little guy with the like ring around him, the arch around him, and then you should see the frightened condition highlighted. Just click on it again, and it'll turn off. Damn it, can't get it. I can turn it off. That's fine. Okay, thank you. Yep. All right. 
Uh, what was that one? The claw, claw. I need a tail. The tail comes aiming right between your eyes. Uh, but you're able to dodge out of the way. Duck below it and passes over it. Like the Matrix backbin thing. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Is, is old man Buckle take that spry? <laughs> no, I'd, I'd like to just think that uh, at one point while I was, uh, I don't know, maybe I kind of did some weird side eye thing. It's like, what the fuck's wrong with his eyes while swinging? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I've never seen eyes that weird. What's wrong with him? <laughs> In all of its time below ground, it's never seen eyes like yours. <laughs> like, hey. All right, it's your turn, Buckle Tick. My turn. Okay. Well, after that little thing, I'm just going to take my coat and kind of, you know, pull on the uh, lapels like, well, let me show you something, kid. I'm cleaning your jacket <laughs> off. <laughs> and, uh, hold on a second. I got, I got to get this radius ready because now since I know how it's supposed to be used, on, I'm going to have to move to this one. So I'm going to... Question. If I wanted to move over here, would I have to go all the way around or could I actually run through a space? You have to go around, but as long as you stay in, like you're not running out of range of him or whatever, then you won't have to worry about the attack of opportunity. Okay, because this one I'm going to have to do some finagling. So, hold on. 5, 10, bonus action, disengage. 15, 20. Hold on, let me see if this is the right amount. Where is that spell? There it is. Yeah. Uh, Oh. oh, where the hell's the damn? Okay, how how do I get the? Uh... The template is that what you're trying to do? Yeah, you select yeah, the. That happened to me too. You select the the token guy up there, right? The the, the token controls. Then you go down to the the thing that pops up on the right and and grab a uh, measure distance. You're 15 feet away from the flying guy, though. Okay, so then I will... Uh, I still got some uh, space to move, so I will move one space up. Okay. So those three ahead of me and this guy to my left should we'll all be within range. Yep. Right? Alrighty, so I'm going to need them all to make a, a DC 15 strength save. Okay. Let's see. This guy strength save... Oh, wait, this is against magic, right? Uh, yes. DC 15. Oh. All right, this one fails. The one on the left fails. Um, yeah. Whoops. The one above and to the left succeeds. Yeah. Cool. And then this guy, I think he has an advantage against spells. Yeah, this magic resistance has advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. It's not going to matter. It's a 10. We rolled a 7 and a 3. Okay. So you've got all three of the core spawn that are within range, too? There's only uh, the two that are alive. The one's dead. Oh, I didn't see that one. Okay. Cool. Yep. Alrighty. So, okay. So. Damage. Get it, James. Get it. If they succeed on the save, they take half damage and they don't fall. Oh, can't take reactions until the next one. Oh, cool. So that. Oh, it, 20 necrotic. It uh, doubled up oh. the damage. I think it was supposed to be 2d6, right? Hold on. Or did you upcast it? Well, I, I think it automatically upcasts it for me. Oh, oh, right, because of uh, Warlock. Warlock. Yeah. Crazy. Uh, hold on a second. Let me just make sure, just to make sure it's not all... Uh, where the hell are you, Hadar? <laughs> Your old buddy. <laughs> Hadar! <laughs> uh, 46. So, uh, 20 damage to those that failed, and 10 to the one that succeeded. Damn. And Our the ones that failed, they, uh, they don't have reactions until the next turn. This one dies. Oh, nice. 
Uh, this yeah. is the one that succeeded. He takes half damage. Ten. Uh, he dies. Nice. 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 And nice. this one here. Uh, he takes the full 20. He's still... Oh, whoops. <laughs> that that, that was bar. not supposed to happen. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. There we go. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot the minus sign there. All right. Okay. Go, 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 go. All right. Um, this one still not looking too terrible. Um, and it can't take reactions. That's a weird symbol. I don't know. Well, okay, hold on. It, it, it's saying that through Foundry. Let me look at the one that's on D and D Beyond, just to make sure. I'm sure it's right. I just I'm looking for uh, uh, like an effect for it. Uh, I guess we'll do this. Yeah, can't take reactions until it's next turn. What the hell? Cool. No, that's oh, it's really good. Reaction. So it can't get away from you, or so it, okay. so it can't make reactions against, against you, against you if you if you back away. It's kind of like I would give anybody with a bonus action that. A freebie. It's kind of like a <laughs> shocking grasp in that manner. Oops. Didn't mean to close the combat thing. Okay. Uh, anything else for you, Buckle Tick? Um, nope. That should uh, that should do it. Hold on. We mark off that spell slot. It didn't do it through the boundary. So there we go. Good to go. All right. So just to. So everyone's aware it's just the two flying guys left now. Um, Squeeb, it's your turn. All right. Squeeb and Baktok are going to stomp across this dead one and stomp all over it as they're going across. <laughs> squish, squish, squish. Actually, yeah. Oh, Squeeb, uh, you at the beginning of your turn. Oh, yeah, I take tons of damage because I'm poisoned. Oh, I don't feel so good, Voktok. You take four poison damage. Oh. And you are poisoned, which poisoned, I believe, gives you disadvantage on your attacks. Oh, when do you roll yet. to try to not have that anymore? Um, one second. I will look. I think you get a save at the end of every turn. Ooh. Oops. Yeah, because if you take damage at the beginning of your turn, it would make sense to be at the end. Yeah, po poison creature has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Oh. Um, and let's see, you get to roll against the uh, at the end of each turn. Yep, so you take the damage and then you can save against it at the end. Oh, okay. So I could uh, save against it now then? No. You make your attack or whatever you're doing first. Okay. Then I'm going to lick the blade of my fling tongue spear as my bonus action and light the tip of it. Mm, just the tip. And just uh -huh. the tip of it. Mm -hmm. Just and the tip. Then I'm going to attack the flying guy in front of me. Okay. Attack, and attack. This would be at disadvantage, right? Yep. Oh. Oh. Double nice. elevens. All right. <laughs> That hit? Uh, I believe that hits. Uh, yep, that hits. <clears throat> for 11. Yeah. Or for how much? Uh, I'm doing it right now. Oh, my bad. I thought you said. For 11. <laughs> 11. I'll call it. 11. <laughs> and then uh, he's still up. Is he still up? He's still up. Then I'll take my second attack on him. And do the same. Okay. Disadvantage. Come on. 14? Uh, 14 does not hit it. Okay. And yeah, I guess that's it for me. Um, oh, could I apply Fury of the Small to the... Oh, no, I think I'm up on my Fury of the Small. Did I use them all? No, I had one left. I think you have one more there. left. We're we're both medium sized classes, so they're not large. Oh, aren't goblins small? Yeah, goblins are small. No, I thought we were. I thought we were at uh, medium. That's already at medium. That one term. The flying ones bigger. I don't remember. The flying ones seem like they're they're, they're medium. They're still considered medium. So it would work. Our size is small. Okay. 
Yeah, so James, I might have screwed that up for you earlier. It didn't oh. matter. You murdered the shit oh. on everything anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, you can do an, another three damage to this one, Gary. Thank you. There you go. And then... Well, crap, I don't want him coming after anybody. Um, I'm just going to... Back up one right here. And lucky for you, you can't take reactions. Yeah. All right. And uh, that ends my turn. Mustella, the beginning of your turn. Oh, wait, uh, Garen, save for your poison. Okay. Save. DC 14 con save. Let me see. And this is at disadvantage, yeah? Because you're poisoned? I thought that was just. Uh, attack or ability checks and attacks. Or, okay, yep, yep. I got 21. Not saves, checks. Okay, uh, your poison is gone, Garo. You can remove that. Yay! Um, way better. Mustella, at the beginning of your turn, you take... Uh, oof. 15 poison. Hang on, I'm trying to select my character again. Here we go. 15, you said? Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, and you might go. May I? You mm. Yes, you may. Uh, I'm going to... I don't know if it matters if I target... <clears throat> I'm going to chaos... Cure wounds on Iris. Estella's going to reach over and put a hand on her shoulder and be like, you not die. <laughs> <laughs> By the end of this campaign, Iris will be immortal. <laughs> Functionally immortal, yeah. <laughs> Y'all hating on moist milk. <laughs> 11 point. <laughs> Mastella! You know, I think Iris still has something too. She probably doesn't even remember she has. Uh, Your tattoo? Nope. Yeah, she still has it. Never mind. I I'm not going to say what it is, but she still has something too that. I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't it's know what that means. Ring. That actually probably should have happened. The last session. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about it too until just now. Yeah, I do have that. Okay. Hmm. All right. I don't so, know what we talked about. So, but okay. Mustella cast cure wounds. What else are you doing? I'm going to bonus action turn into a cave bear. Uh, because you're about to go in a cave? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see if I can get this Kick dang tunnel. thing to work. Yeah, I don't know why my button still is there, but whatever. I guess I'll just drag the icon out like I did before. Yeah. Bloop. Did it work? Oh, I don't know what happened. It dragged me over. Meow. Let me, let me, let me try to try to do the thing. Derp. Derp. Move you up there. Uh, I gotta give your bear vision, I think. Yes. Which I can set this up later. I gotta remember to do that. Has vision. You know what? I gotta make a note. Make a note. I need to give your tokens vision and figure out what's going on with your your button. And Mustella is just gonna roar angrily, right, just step in front here. of Iris there. Like, oh, that's your that's your angry roar. Yeah, it's not like you're just <laughs> puking up a night's worth of carnival ride uh, or <laughs> carnival treats or something. Angry puke roar. <laughs> there we go. I can't tell. 
Is she laughing or roaring? <laughs> <laughs> it's both. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, and your does she need to make a save? Uh, yes, you do. I was about to assign the poison condition, but I might as well wait. Uh, you need a DC, was it 15 I said? Um, con save. DC 14 con save. DC 14. Oh, still poison. God. Poison bear. All of my save rolls have just been shit high. That's okay. Is it? It is. Hmm. <laughs> um. <laughs> the sass. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the most damage your group has taken, and well, probably since the mausoleum fight. That may be true. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I don't. I don't really feel bad for any of you right now. All right, Nick Nick. <gasps> I like causing some worry in this group because it doesn't happen often. <laughs> How's this guy looking? Uh, I think he is. Oh, he's not terrible. He's, he's showing some wear, but he's he's not terrible. Uh, I'll do another steady aim. Restrict my movement. Okay. Sixteen? Uh sixteen will hit. Woo. Okay. So that's okay. a large. Yeah, sixteen hits. Oh, so I do know I need to get more battle music so I have more than one song playing. I'll make a, a battle <laughs> music playlist. Nice. Yeah. Ten plus. Ooh. Thirteen Damn. plus Fury of the Small. Fruit. Who are That's you, Shardo? Three points of damage. Yes. Twenty six so damage. If I was Shardo, there'd be three more coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So twenty six. Now it looks rough. Of damage. Uh, and I just, <laughs> I want to have the arrow just kind of go trying to bend the arrow's uh, trajectory over Iris's head. Just go think <laughs> right into the thing. Yeah. It, just, it hits her seeing eye rat and pins it to the creature. <laughs> Wiki bombers! <laughs> <laughs> Iris is suddenly staring at the ground. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Why is everything red? <laughs> It's everything. Oh, no. Cave bear has gone AFK. That's an AF cave bear. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my All right. God. Uh, Nick, Nick, I assume you're done. Yeah, I can't move. So, Shardo. Assuming you haven't fallen asleep. To... Rain of arrows. He He's does that every turn. <laughs> Move my heart mark to this guy below the cave bear. Okay. Rain of arrows. That that's every turn for Shardo. <laughs> okay. Pew. Yeah. Oh, oh no. damn. That's an extra ten. Do it. <laughs> 18. Hang on, he's got he's to add on like 50 other things here. Yeah. Make attack in Hunter's Mark for another 10. Okay. 28. 28. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The buzzing immediately ceases. Jesus Christ. Dead. Oh Dead. God. Dead. 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 Aim at that other one. Okay. Sharp trigger. Uh, the cave bear is large. My gosh. Is that better? 
No? Maybe? I can't even see where the other one is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. three to hit. That hits. Oh. <laughs> I like how you did not care whether you were going to hit Cave Bear or not. <laughs> this is a sacrifice you're willing to make, right? Yep. <laughs> 19. <laughs> 19 damage? Yeah. All right. And buzzing intensifies from this one over here. Oh, yeah. Short, short was probably yawning the whole entire time. <laughs> yeah, he's just yawning while he's <laughs> fucking rocketing off arrows. 23. What is this? Good. Oh, Lord, this is from your speed thing. Extra, yeah, I forgot. He's hasted. He gets an extra attack. Oh, my yeah, God. See, rain of arrows. Here he goes. Uh, just 16. Just 16 on a one. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like it known henceforth that uh, Sharpshooter will be banned in all future games, so I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Andy is poo-poo. What? <laughs> Correct, Riley. Andy is poo-poo. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> A special I guest. I not to ask who that was for a second there. My <laughs> homie. That was a, a, a brief cameo appearance. <laughs> I love it. That was hilarious. All right, Sharda, what else are you doing? I'm done. Running like a little punk ass. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll use my movement to get up in there. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I hope this thing lives through this. God damn it. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> this is another flashback to the mausoleum encounter. Yeah. 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 All right, uh, Iris, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having trouble breathing. <laughs> Are okay. you okay? That's the sound have... you make. I have really bad allergies. Um, I never sound like that when I have bad allergies. <laughs> well, I sound like that all the time anyway. But... You... <laughs> what are you doing? Stop moving on other people's turns. There, game paused. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Put them in timeout. <laughs> I went too far. I had to go back to what my movement speed was. <laughs> so, from Thank what you. I can see, there's only one. Yeah. Five. Yeah. This okay. one's dead. Yep. Okay. Hi, Mastera. <laughs> 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 Come on, Farface. We're going to kill this bug. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to punch it. I'm so gross and full of snot. I apologize <laughs> to the viewers. <laughs> punch? For 23? Uh, 23 hits. <gasps> Damage! I'm gonna hit him in his bug crotch. <laughs> bug crotch damage. <laughs> How much? Oh, Ten. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Crotch bludgeoning. Hey, did you, did you gain <laughs> your uh, your? Oh, you can't gain temporary HP because no. you still have it. Never mind. No, I'm busy. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You can't gain it again. I don't think. Oh, you you gain four points every single turn. Yeah, I don't I'm think busy. it stacks though. Yeah, I don't. Th and it doesn't say anything about stacking. It's so it's a rule for temporary HP, I believe. Yeah, but it just renews. So yeah, four full four hit points oh. if that ever. Oh, I want to punch it. Though. Well, punch it. No one's we'll stopping punch. you from punching it. <laughs> One punch! Punch! Crotch again! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, my god. I was yelling. <laughs> I got excited. Okay. Critical hit for Crotch! <laughs> nice. Well, damn it. Melissa's had too much sugar today. <laughs> she crotch punches it and it has no discernible effect other than, you know, like a normal punch would do on these a things. Normal crotch. Yeah. Is it, is it 
Is it still live? It's still live. <gasps> yeah, I know it's I don't amazing. Think that one has taken any damage yet, has it? No, because it was back by the cave. Mm. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Flurry blows. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Half the time I don't understand what's happening. I don't either. <laughs> okay. So many <laughs> Oh, sorry, third piper. That hits. 16? Yep, that hits. <laughs> Damage! Hit. For someone that can't breathe, you sure are full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's coming out of my mouth, not my nose. Eight. <laughs> Uh, whoops, what am I doing? Minus eight. Okay. Oh my god. Um, 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 um. One more. Okay. Um, hello. Hello. <laughs> Attack! Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Luck of my snot, apparently. <laughs> Oof. Oh, dear. All of the crotch action. Was that like 40 some points of damage in one round? I don't know. 17, <laughs> 8, 25, eight, and 16, four. 31, 41, I think. Wow. If I did That's that right, shardo level of damage <laughs> there. Oh no, there's another. There's another damage roll. You had four attacks. Yeah. Yeah. The, it's uh, only three hit though. That could be. Yeah. No, you had. Anyway. No, they all hit. Did they all? Yeah. Oh, I thought one missed. Seventeen, eight, twenty-five. Oh, yeah. Twenty-five and twelve is uh, thirty-seven. I'm dumb. <laughs> 47? 47 damage that round. No! Jeez. From two, two crits. Alright, anything else for you? Fart gargle? <laughs> I'm just gonna be gargling some farts now. Alright. Uh, flying guy here. Uh, this thing... What was it gonna do? He's going to blast out with spores again. Uh, All right. Uh, uh, what if so, you're already poisoned? Uh, Double you, poison. Nah, it won't stack. It's just a you're, you'll just stay poisoned. Um, oh, need all of you guys to make a or the three of you, Shardo, Iris, and Mustella, to make a DC 14 con save. Okay. Fuck you. Oh no. Uh, oh no. There is so. Shardo? Oh, I see it. Never mind. Alright, Shardo takes non damage. Oh no, fart face! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Iris is poisoned. Oh no! <laughs> I think that's all I can do. I don't think I can do anything else there. Just imagine <laughs> Iris <laughs> saying, what? Oh no! Right face, and all the while she's like getting. <laughs> it's going to fly over Iris's head and try to get away into the caves here. Oh, look, he left purple blood. Okay. <laughs> Five, ten, twenty, yes. twenty-five, thirty. All right, it's in the mouth of the cave. Uh, Iris and Shardo both get uh, attacks of opportunity on it. I will one. I guess. Wait, no, you're too far away, aren't you? But I want one. <laughs> Attack! Kill the tomatoes. Oh, one thing. You, you both hit. 
Yeah. Oh, shit. Goodbye, Emissary. It was oh, fun using shit. you. I wonder if I can fit in that cave. Oh, you still alive? Oops. He's still alive. Barely. <laughs> Rick. Yep. Wow. Yeah, because it was a reaction and not one of Shardo's like ridiculous things. He doesn't have Hunter's mark on it, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's, it's all right. It's going to die soon. Uh, there's no more crawlers. Uh, buckle tick. All right. I'm going to run up. And do I see it from where I'm at? Yeah. If you can okay. see it from your token, you can see it. All right. I'm just going to mentally scream in his head. Show me again. I'm going to hit that motherfucker with the Eldritch Blast. Okay. Sorry if I went a little too loud in the microphone. Absolutely you. not. You're fine. Yeah. I Attack. I love that. Attack. 17 hits. All right. Then the second one. Can't see Buckle Tick's numbers on his dice. I need to. I can't either. The stupid thing. A dirty uh, twenty. Dirty twenty hits. And two hits. Yeah. All right. So the first one. Yes. Normal. So nine damage for that one. Okay. And then uh, the damage for where's the other one? Where the hell is it? Sorry. You can do it, buddy. You got it. You could do it. <laughs> you could do it. Well, I don't. Okay, it took away. It didn't show. Me. Let me do the damage for the second. So hold on. Let's just roll. Up. Click the D10 down underneath the chat thing. That just add four to it. So twelve. Yep. Uh, add four. Twenty-one and... damage. Uh, uh, seem to go down. Yeah, so you obliterate the middle of it to the point where the wings are falling off of it, and your second one slams into the wings as they're falling, and they just like break down into the little iridescent pieces of wing and float down. And he is dead as well. Yes! What? what? All right. I call Turk! So the battle winds down a second. Everybody's breathing hard and Shardo's running around all over the damn place. <laughs> <laughs> do they, uh, do the people that are poisoned get a chance to save? Yep, they get a uh, chance to save right now after combat, but it's still going to stick around for a bit. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead. You stay poisoned for a bit. Those were some messed up bees. Maybe they're ground hornets. Yeah, they're bastards. Yeah. We Did anybody? Probably, we should probably take some of them back with us. Did anybody else see what I saw? Yeah, I saw. I saw something really scary. Uh, are you talking about the big naked thing coming out of an ocean? <laughs> Chrissy, I think you're <laughs> muted, but I. <laughs> yeah. Did, did my mic pick her up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it picked her up. Oh my god. I, I think it's a sign. Yes. I I I need <laughs> I need to kill that that leader of theirs, the one that was in the cape with the the staff. Right I, now. I, I well we can we can regroup, but uh I need to kill that one. <laughs> can my thick bear ass fit in that cave? Uh, it sounds like some slang stuff, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can fit in that cave. It it honestly sounds <laughs> like if Melissa was trying to say it. Yeah. With a super stuffy nose. Chrissy, are you still <laughs> muted out there? I feel like you've been muted for like 10 minutes. Oh, I didn't even know. Yeah, I was. 
<laughs> All right. What are you guys doing? Guys. Can I fit in that cave? You didn't answer me. You just made fun of my cave. Yeah, you can <laughs> fit in there. Um, I want to. S- <laughs> I won't make you waste another wild shape. I know. I feel like I waste them a lot. Everybody kills things too fast. <laughs> uh, okay. D- does does it seem like it's getting later in the day? Yeah. Uh. Okay. I I would say. Well, would you, would you all want to at least uh, get a night's rest before even attempting anything in there? Just to make sure everybody's got their uh, wait their their game going on. Yeah. Let me just let me just take a little little peek, and I'll turn into. My rat connaissance. Oh. I'm I'm gonna use my second spell slot and turn invisible and follow the rat. All right. Sorry. Well, this will be interesting. So <laughs> oh boy. All right. Uh I guess we're gonna switch maps then, and only half of or only those two are gonna be able to see anything. Oh. Apologize, everybody. Sorry. I w- I was curious. You're good. <laughs> Me too. You're curious for torture, I'm curious for Eldritch Horrors. Wait, you could actually talk to me. (laughs) Because you could telepathically, Telepathically. yeah. That's cool. I'm just not sure. Uh, Buckle take. I'm blind. Where am I? (laughs) Jeez, this is a giant one. Giant giant map. All right. Big one. Hang on before you go anywhere. Um, I figured I would just telepathically say, just gonna follow behind you. You two in here hear this instead. Freak. Only I think everyone is gonna hear this, even though you two are the only ones that should be. I, I don't know. If, are we, am I supposed to be on a black screen? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I had to switch over to the cave map, but it's only the two that went in. Um, Nick, Nick, I set your token up a while back, but I think it's doing the same thing that Chrissy's was doing. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta figure this out. Nick, Nick, I had you able to switch back and forth between the rat and something happened there. I don't know. Bullshit. Yeah. No some, worries. Some Tom fuckery happened. Okay, so you are in your rat form, but I don't have a rat token for you at the moment because you can't switch back and forth. Uh, buckle Fine. tick, you're in... Is that invisible? Yeah. You're invisible, buckle tick. Man, this music is giving me goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and venture on. Um, as far as you wish to go. Some some happened with my dark vision. It's not a uh, oh, whoops. lighting up what I should be able to see. Oh, there we go. My bad. No problem. But yeah, I I as we go in, I would say right behind you, telepathically, of course. Little scurrying knick knick. Right. Okay. And and I, I I would actually like to attempt to. Stealth, just to make sure I don't attract anything. All right, make a stealth check real quick. I would like to as well. Motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> Usually I'm better than that. Damn it. All right, and uh, Nick Nick. Something's weird here. <laughs> Nick Nick. Nick, Nick, uh, stealth? Would I have? I'm a tiny little rat. Would I have an advantage on yeah. that or just normal? I'll, I'll say you will. Yeah, a tiny rat in this cave. Oh, that changed drastically. <laughs> 20. <laughs> All right. So go ahead. Ah. <clears throat> that looks like a big asshole right there. <laughs> that looks like a huge hole. Where are you looking? Oh, wait, no, I think that might just be... Never mind. <laughs> yep, so it's dark. Uh, you guys can both see via dark vision, but it's a very dark cave. There's no light source in here, so you're only seeing in, uh, you know, gray. Um... You can hear the soft trickle of water somewhere further on in the cave. And you can hear occasionally uh, scurrying and scraping along the stone floor. 
Oh, oh this is so cool and creepy. Cave is made up of uh, like the hard stone, the same kind of stone you saw outside. And various stalactites and stalagmites. Boy. Uh, Stealth in a little deeper if possible. Okay. Oh, oh that's a big room. <laughs> Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. I don't know, man. Do I do I hear anything? Um, Apart from the the dripping sounds and the, you can hear the, like the occasional like, scratching sounds. <clears throat> and as a rat, uh, go ahead and make a uh, perception check in here. Twenty-four. All right. In this room, it's your dark vision. You can spot little piles of bones back here behind this rock. You can spot old dried blood being dragged around the corner to the left. And various little bones littered throughout. Oh. Oh. Okay. Not going that way. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh, make a note of that. Oh, make a note of where you're at. Um, so you guys don't say with this uh, out loud here, but Nick Nick. No, you get back there, Nick Nick. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Nick, when you get there, um, this this section of the wall that you're right in front of there that splits off. Actually, let me make sure that's what you see. Yeah, yeah, you can see that. Um, that section of the wall, right where you're in front of. Um, you see, go. Um, a blink, blink, like a dual blink in front of you, and it looks like sections of the wall come off in tenderly long-looking uh, limbs, and. Uh, buckle tick a little further back, like you can see the shadows moving along this wall and, and something begin to awaken as it seems. Um, Nick Nick as a rat. Hmm. Let me see. Let me see what this is. Got. Would, would there be a chance for me to lunge and pick Nick Nick up and try to run for it? It's going to make a perception check. Let's see Maybe what exactly. He's got um what was your stealth throw? 20? Yeah. It doesn't seem to notice you, Nick Nick. The long fleshy bits are lancing out in um uh, buckle tick's direction. Yeah. Buckle tick, make a dexterity save to avoid the little first barrage here. Dexterity save. Okay. And the invisibility, I know, does nothing. So um, you'll oh have. God. Uh, God. They have? No, is eerie. you can have advantage on this. Are you I sure? Yeah, absolutely. Love, and I am also terrified of this. <laughs> yes. All right. So it knows something's around. It lashes out, but it doesn't. It doesn't connect with you. You're able to dodge uh, about a half dozen of these things. Uh, what do you guys want to do next? Uh, I'm I'm just gonna telepathically say in Nick Nick's head, "Let's get out of here right now. We'll come back at some point." I'm already like running towards the door. Nick Nick, make a perception check for me as you're running out the door and sure. leaving Buckle Ticket in the dust. <laughs> I, I, I would stealth behind. I would attempt to stop. I was laughing. Check. Yeah, I was laughing at the speed in which uh, Nick Nick's token was zipping through uh, and Buckle Ticks was stationary. Uh, 10. <laughs> 19 stealth. All right. Try to follow. Uh, stealth. Um, so, Nick Nick, you're going straight out the door, right? Yep. All right. See you later, Nick Nick. Uh, Buckle Tick, 
Your gaze is drawn down this way. Ooh. And you see what's in that room. And I just see all of them little guys. Mm. Swirling, squirming, writhing mass. Uh, you follow Nick Nick out? Mm. Yes. And I'll just look at them and just think to myself, what a wonderful world. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think to myself, we'll be coming. Just gonna All right. Stealth the fuck out of the ah. All right. I'm going to leave your token there because I think we're going to pull everyone else in here. Oop. Or, yeah, yeah. And then we'll just move over to the, the other map. Okay. Back outside. Nice nature sounds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm still in the cave? No, you're out now. Oh, okay. I don't know if I need to. Uh, Oops. I don't know if I need to refresh or anything because I'm still in the cave. Uh, yeah, me too. Oh, whoops. I My bad. That was my fault. <laughs> There we go. Oh, hey. And I'm still invisible, but as soon as we get just a little bit like right over here, I'm going to drop my invisibility. I'm okay. going to rat climb on top of uh, Bear Stella. <laughs> okay. Bear Stella, you see a, a small rat come flying out of the cave and running straight up your leg. <laughs> He's like, who? Looking down at the rat. Fuck. Got a little rat just... sits on top of your head. <laughs> Starts grooming you. Fuck. Fuck. would just uh, come up and say, uh, there's a lot more, plus some other weird creatures in there. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's all she says. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go and exterminate him? Unless you guys want to get a long rest first, or it's getting late, and I don't know how these things will be when it comes nighttime. If we long rest. Well, if we, we long rest, rest, I would suggest here? we don't do it in front of the cave. <laughs> <laughs> Iris curls up in front of the cave. <laughs> <laughs> Eldritch blast! No. Eldritch blast! Arm the Hadar. <laughs> you go over to that campsite. Arm the Hadar. Arms the Hadar. Arms the Hadar. Camp at the campsite or sleep with the puppies. Yeah, yeah, I'll just go back down, 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 and just down. come back first thing. Yeah. Hey. Hey. yeah. What'd you say, Shardo? We could take all our stuff back, all our monsters. Come back first thing. Go That's back to Puddlestrom? Like yeah. Um, how far away is Puddlestrom? Well, it wasn't too far. I remember like uh we had to go through I don't know how big that forest was, but we kind of just did like a straight shot. I and uh we we were at the stream where the big bridge was. I want to say I have to to go back to it, but I think it was like an hour or two walk along the uh, the creek there to, like that. to get back to Puddlestrom. Well, we could go back. Um, I don't want to bring the wagon, though. I want uh, to tell Ragnan that we need his help with the wagon. Lure him out into the woods. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> the Mustella laugh. Mustella wants hurt. Wants what? Yeah. Wants to hurt him badly. Why? Why is Mustella mad at Ragnan? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because he's a big asshole who skins badgers. 
<laughs> and eats them. <laughs> he skins, skins oh. badger assholes. <laughs> All right, it's up to you guys. What are you doing? Um, I didn't want to. I don't know what to. Like you do you guys body. just want to end it here? Because yeah, I mean, I, when we next play, I was I was kind of getting at like what well, you want to do to end it. Um, I want to hmm. meet my patron to end it. <laughs> 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 yeah, real quick, some 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 combats took a little bit long, but no, no. I, I have something lined up for it though, Jim. Uh, well, kind of, you know. Let's see. So, who's all for going back? And okay, who's all for going back? I guess what we need to know is: are are you ending it back at Puddlestrom, or are you camping in the the campsite here? Hmm. I'm thinking of. Camping in the woods because I don't want to take the wagon back yet. Here, that or we have to leave the wagon in the woods. Or we could take the bodies back and then dump them and then bring the wagon back with us. I'm not sure what'll happen. Or no, like, is that gonna? Is that what? I, I don't know. Like, is it gonna start? Like, if we go back to Ragnar, does it start a whole other blue branch to the quest place? line? Yeah, like we might not come back here. Are you meta gaming? <laughs> are you are you thinking about your your like Zelda quest? If I do this, does it close this off? I do, 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 do. Yeah, I guess that's. But I never really thought of that as meta gaming, but I guess it is. But nah, I mean, whatever you guys want to do, I just uh, I'm trying to figure out if you want to end it here or back in town. Hmm. Uh, who's all for here? I'm I'm for here. Squeebs um, are here. That's one. Mm-hmm. Uh, not to everybody. I don't care. Yeah, I'd say I'm for here. Yeah, I'm for here. That's three. I guess. I guess two. I don't really care, much, but I guess you're cutting out really bad. Are you way far away from your mic? I don't think so. Huh. Oh. He got quieter. You sound, sound better right now. And Discord sounds like it's cutting you off. Uh, you know, I can come back. Discord is it doing it right now? You're right at the moment. Hmm. You know what? The executive decision for the indecision. You guys are camping out here, <laughs> so go <laughs> go back up to the campsite up this way, up yep. this way. Do. That's all right. I think you guys will want to do this instead anyway. Yeah, that's what I thought we were. Did everybody kind of just <laughs> Did everybody just try to cut through the trees? <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Uh, uh, I watched like three of you all try it at the same time. Well, that's the damn it, thing. Damn I'm, I'm actually <laughs> trying to put it through the area where there's space. And it was like, you're trying to do it. It's like, oh, God damn it. <laughs> trying to move. Hey, Andy, I want to take one of the, the bug. The flying bugs bodies drag it back with me. I want to put it on. I want to put it on the cart. All right. What'd you say, Shardo? Let's take one of each of them. Yeah. Okay. They get all guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Iris is gonna take off her pants. Oh god damn. Why? It. Why though? <laughs> it's after a battle. You gotta relax. Mastella, are you still in bear form? Um, I guess not. If we're gonna be at pants. Okay. I'm just sitting out on top of your head <laughs> until <laughs> just a few minutes before I would uh, polymorph out of it, just like picking some of the bugs out of your hair. But <laughs> <laughs> they'll probably don't have please. Sharda, what are you doing down there? Posting up on this rock. Oh, okay. All right, so we'll end it here, but I kind of got something for you guys before we end the session. So you killed the troll. You killed a bunch of these things. I need you all to roll hit points for your next level. Oh, 
<laughs> Celebration. Um, I haven't leveled up in so long, I don't remember what to do anymore. <laughs> what if you don't know what you're going to multi-class in? Oh my god. Oh, oh what happened? <laughs> How do you know what to roll? I'm a newbie. Uh, you roll a D8 uh, for mine. Okay, so mine's a D8 plus one. I actually. Uh, Whoops. Uh, three. That's fine. <laughs> oh. Huh. huh. My. Hang on one sec. I gotta switch scenes real fast. Uh. This is the first time I've seen Foundry do anything weird. What you mean? Uh, I'm going to have to reload the page real quick. Like, it might kick you guys out of the game. That's so rude. So rude, Pam. Foundry, you better not. There we go. That's the first time I've seen it mess up at all. The first Zephyr. This is officially the highest level character I've ever had. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, Iris, you got to reroll that one. Yeah, you you reroll the one. Uh, Jacob, if you don't know which class you're putting your oh. point or your level into, rather, um, you can talk to me later on and roll it. Probably gonna go rogue, so I'll just roll one of them. Okay. How do you know what you're doing? How do you know what? How do you know what you're rolling? For HP? It is your hit it's die. It's your hit dice. Ooh, I get another invitation. So you're rolling a D8. Just a D, like a single D8? Yep. A single D8. Also, you guys don't forget, it's whatever you roll plus your con mod. Plus your con mod. Yep. Uh, so Mastella gets two plus... Three. You get five HP. I get yeah. five HP? Yep. So when you go to when you guys go to level up, make sure you level up in D and D Beyond, because then I'll re-import your characters before next time we play. And then uh, when you go to level up, make sure you get all your goodies. I think what Warlock you said it was invocation. I think Druid is a, your first level four spell, if I remember right. <gasps> uh, Monk is evasion. <laughs> Artificial. I have evasion too. Nice. Rogue and Monk both get evasion. Yeah. And I get an, uh, another D6 on sneak attack bonus. Gross. Uh, plus four. That's four D6. Or, yeah, I meant four D6. Uh, and Squeeb, you get the genius, the uh, flash of genius. Unless I multi class. Unless you multi class, <laughs> Shardo. <laughs> And I don't know what a level... Oh, you get your archetype, don't you? If you go into a rogue. Shardo. I need one more level. Ah. Alright. Well. Uh, I get to deal with a bunch of level 7 assholes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I hope you guys had fun. Yeah. <laughs> I like the, the so correspond stuff a lot. And it has a, a large part to do with your guys' story, so you'll be seeing more and more of them. Um, and I can't promise they're going to stay the same as what you're used to because, you know, I like tinkering with things. But I hope you guys had fun. I hope everybody <laughs> watching had fun. Um, does, are you guys good to, to end it? Do we have any other questions or anything tonight? I'm good. So Thanks many anybody. questions, but <laughs> all of them are metagamey, so no. <laughs> yeah, you can you guys feel free to shoot me questions in Discord or anything afterwards. Um 
but yeah, we'll wrap it up here. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, if you could do us a massive favor and uh, share a link with anybody you think might like the show, fans of D&D &D or just, you know, goofy groups like ours in general, uh, we would appreciate it very much and really trying to grow the channel. Um, and like I said, check out the, the link for the uh, shops and the long form character intros. Make sure you go follow us over on Twitch. I believe it's uh, Dirty Rollers RPG on Twitch. Um, look for our little Dice Mimic logo and that's how you'll, you'll make sure you got the right one. And you can check out some of our gaming streams and map making and DM prep. But thanks again for watching everybody and we will see you next time. Adios. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Bye. Bye. We love you. Bye. Bye, Schmel.